we're all big fans having lots of tattoos over the years we've now become fans of homemade tattoos uh which are known as point 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 to point or stick and poke is usually the uh the popular term layman's term so yeah. you can use sewing needles we've graduated on to using tattoo needles so a lot of us have homemade tattoos that we've done yeah. like ourselves jay did that jay, jay, did, jay that did that hammer after drunk. Uh, yeah hammer drunk on a bottle of wine it's ridiculous <laughs> and probably will fall out at some point in, at some point in my life but i love time it place. you know time and place it's also a good reminder Take that sometimes th- doing things when you're drunk is a bad idea um i got this one as like a kind of like homage to my parents and my grandparents it's about love so it says, I'll never believe in heartache because all my heroes are still in love. This is a Cancer Bats tattoo. This is from Hail Destroyer. Some of the artwork. I think Jay's Charles Bronson tattoo should be noted since we are in the studio that it was done in. But then we also brought the scope because he has no tattoos. None. Over it. Not in. Why is that? Why is that the scope? Um... Because you guys have all really ugly tattoos. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, I don't know. Ouch. I, just, I, know, it's I used to want them when I was young, I think, and I was really indecisive. And then I'm like, oh, hey, I turned 20 and really glad that when I was 16, I didn't get full tribal sleeves, which I thought were really cool at the time, you know? And certain tattoo artists do great pieces of work and stuff like that, um, but I don't see a lot of them. I only know a few that are really good. A few days ago, I was talking to my friend. And she was she realized that I didn't have any tattoos and I was like, Yeah, I'm just not into it and she was like, Well, I guess you wouldn't really want to put a bumper sticker on a Ferrari, would you? And I was like There you go, yeah. Like we all have, you know, like bad tattoos, but I like it because it's like that was you know, where you were at at that time. It's like, yeah, you know, twelve years ago I thought getting stars on my back was a really good idea. It's like Jay's flame arm. Like I love Jay's flame arm because it's like, yeah, you at one point, you were like, flame arm! That was yeah. awesome. No, yeah. no regrets, you know? Yeah. Warcraft freakout is pretty funny. Yeah. I think everyone is watching that lately. It made me laugh. That one about his brother, when he, he's like trying to cook the... Uh, the turkey dinner too. Have you seen that oh, one? The microwave doesn't work. And he throws the microwave. The microwave. Oh, yeah. But it's awesome because then you see that he lives in this giant mansion and he's just like a total rich brat. Ma! Ma! <laughs> what do you do? Wow, Steven! So you better freaking. <laughs> The one where he gets the truck? Did you see that yeah, one? Seen that one. Oh. The one where he actually plays Warcraft? Oh, and he's like, and he's like freaking betraying me! I will kill you! He keeps betraying me! I will kill you! Kid's a loser. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I just bought the first Touche Amour record, which is like a screamo band from California. Is just coming out, or just came out, and they're you know, awesome. There's a band from Australia called Ouch My Face. They're kind of dancey. Yeah, 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 as meets the Melvins. Maybe we put there it there. Go. 